Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we have a chance to check a new kit from Brain Gun. As usual you can find link to the detailed review article in the video description below, click it and there will be text in English and Russian with detailed photos. As you can see this is a new Yak-1 in a winter version. It is molded in 170 second scale as a previous release which we reviewed before and you can find video review on the same channel which you are watching at the moment. Now uh, this particular kit should be available from February and as you can see it features really nice box art on the front. Box size is absolutely the same here, you can see comparison with my hand. On the sides there is some safety information, information about manufacturer and on the back side we have marking guide for several marking options. As you can see they will be different only with minor features, for example the propeller hub or maybe um, numbers on the fuselage. This is a side opening box. Inside, as you can see, there is plenty of space, so no worries about possible damage. But the package is quite heavy and that surprises me because, as far as I remember, previous edition was quite light. Just give me a second to open it and we will check what's inside. Okay. So, we have here resin parts and transparent parts packed together, so be careful and check uh, if they are not scratched. First, we can start from the sprue with fuselage halves. As you can see, both halves are molded together with tail segment. Top cooling part is molded as a separate panel, the same can be said about chin panel, let's say. Here you can see that fuselage halves feature recess panel lines, a nice imitation of the ribbed uh, surface. Note that there is separate panel for the lower fuselage panel and inside there is minor cockpit detailing, no position pins at all so you have to be careful with alignment if you want to get a nice result. Then we have a separate frame with wing parts. These are divided in a typical style so we have two top halves and one bottom. Uh, also here we have one piece tail wings and note that there is a bit of, small bit of flesh which should be cleaned but that's nothing serious it's just um, it should be easily cleaned and you can notice that flaps are molded in so you won't be able to retract them on your model third and last gray plastic sprue is dedicated to uh, various minor external and internal parts as you can see propeller is a one piece element Again, we have flesh, but flesh is on the frame, not on the parts, so no worries. And I think cockpit and external parts will be detailed with PE elements. But first we need to check this uh, separate plastic bag. As I said, it packs resin parts and transparent sprue for winter version coping. So first transparent sprue, this one is molded in nice quality I would say. As you can see we have here separate parts for the open version so you might copy uh, airplane with open canopy. Then we have resin parts and here it is the most interesting part. Why? Because we have different armament. As you can see here also some parts for external detailing elements for the winter version for example those skis and by the way note that the attachment point to the base is on the bottom so you have to be careful while separating them then we have wheels that's just a nice bonus which will go into the spares box more missiles uh, this is a tail ski and another set of missiles as you can see molding quality is really nice and I hope they will be easy to separate of the bases because as you saw uh, the main skis should be carefully separated and sanded in order to get a nice result. And last plastic bag is dedicated to decals and PE fret which are packed together. Decals are printed in brand gun as far as I can guess. So I will show them in a moment. Here they are. As you can see we have here different symbols for several marking options as I said before. Printing quality is really nice and I hope application will be easy as well. And one more is a special PE fret. 
As I said before, we have here some minor elements for cockpit detailing, for example, this dashboard, and for external detailing as well. This is unpainted P, so you will be able to cover it with necessary paint shade. And last but not the least is assembly manual. This one is printed in form of typical brain gun black and white brochure. On the first page we have parts map and then straight away assembly process starts with dashboard and continues into the you know, fuselage wings. In total you will have to perform 15 steps as you can see here and you will have a winter version of the Spamos airplane. That's all for this video review, I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, don't forget to leave your opinion in the comment section below. If you like this, press the like button. And if you want to get all fresh video reviews on time, subscribe on our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.